It's, it's day seven now. And the babies are getting so big. When I first got them, they could barely walk. They really only wanted breast milk. They only ate soaked dry food because that's all we had. Their mama wasn't with them the first day. And now, they're sprinting everywhere. They'll climb their kennel like it's a ladder. They're so, so interactive and fun. Huh. Yeah. We're really loving them. Now that I let them out for playtime every day, they don't like coming back to bed in their kennel at night. They get really grouchy about it and meow and meow. Huh. Yeah, Waffle, you do. Hello. You're a good boy, though. The little um, cream-colored girl. She's the most vocal. She's always crying for her mommy, and mommy comes running. She's a mommy's girl, huh? Yeah. I put some dry kibble in there. Um, in their kennel. So that mama could eat whenever she wanted. Like if I'm not up right away to give her wet food. And these little nuggets have been chewing on the dry kibble. Huh. You guys have your big kitties now. It's, in, it's crazy how different they get from five weeks to six weeks. They seem so huge compared to where they were. They're all doing really well, so I haven't been weighing them or anything. But they just seem twice the size almost as last week. Doesn't really matter how many kittens you get, it's always surprising how quickly they grow. And Mama's been wormed twice for various kinds of worms. She's putting on some weight and her hair is getting softer. She's growing back more undercoat. I think she lost a lot of her undercoat when she was um, pregnant and breastfeeding these little guys. I think it took a lot out of her. She was skin and bones. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but I can completely feel her hip or whatever this is right here. Her backbone, her hip, top of her hip bone. Um, she's gaining a little bit. Hey, you. What are you doing? mama girl. They love the setup I've got in their kennel, which is it's a little bit messy because they have been dumping everything, but I've got this tower that's double layer. This is a cat heating pad, so it only gets a couple degrees warmer than ambient air. I've got my kids' old um, food dish here, and it's perfect for the kittens because it's shallow, yet they can't tip it over easily. And then I've got this hammock that I got on Amazon. It's a double layer. At first they didn't know what to do with it. Then I lowered it a little bit and they just love it now. So, this is like a large size dog kennel they're all in. Which I think is pretty perfect for them since they can't just run loose in my house right now. I've noticed some people have like the clear, the clear, um, like plexiglass type of enclosures and that seems nice because then you can kind of have a modular setup and, uh, they can't climb out because as soon as they get this age, they climb these bars. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty funny to watch because they can climb up, but they can't really get down. So they just climb to the top of the cage and then scream at you until you come and help them. Still all breastfeeding. Oh, mama, but you love it, don't you? Mommy is so patient with them. Sometimes she wants her alone time, but 
her babies cry for her. She's always right there. Loving on your mom. She says, no more of that. No more of that, young man. Oh, now they're, they're scrapping for a boob. Kicking each other off. We can get so mean with each other when both of them want the same one. Hi, little girl. You can come down here and eat some big kid food if you can't get one. You got your sister's bum? What are you doing? Gonna bite your tail? Her tail? His tail? Oh my goodness, was he mean to you? You're a little mommy's girl, huh? Are you toddling? Oh, and he fell. Come on, buddy. Climb back up. You can do it. Climb back up. You got it. You gonna kick one of your brothers off? It's not very nice, you know. There's enough for all of you. You just gotta squirm around until you find it. Do you need some help? Let me lift up your leg. If you lift up your leg, they can find it easier. See, if you lift up your leg, they'll squirm underneath. Yep. Oh, then they'll still grapple in, aren't they? He's gonna find someone else to push off. You pushed off your little girl, Mommy. Our favorite little sweet girl. Mommy's tired of your crap, kiddos. Huh. Your mommy's tired of your crap. I know. Look at that mommy. She's like, is this almost the end yet? They can get weaned soon, can't they please? They will, mommy girl. You little angel. This is our honey. Her name is Honey, huh? Yeah, your name is Honey and you're precious. You sure are. Ah, what was that, silly lick? What was that silly lick? Huh? You had a lot of adventures today. My colleague came over with two of her kids to see the kittens. And it was a little overwhelming for them. They all ended up hiding under the couch after half hour or so. Huh. Yes, you guys did. Yeah. We've all been doing really well with litter box training. Huh. Yes. Eating well. Learning their limits and their boundaries. My sweet girl. I'm sure gonna miss you guys when you go. I will. Especially you, honey. You're my girl. You're my girl, aren't you? You're my honey. Yes, are you somebody too who wants to be talked to? Pancake? Pancake, you're a good boy too. You are. Look at you. So handsome. Mm. My honey. You can get up here, Pancake. You can get up. You know how. You guys gonna have a kitten slap fight? Slapping your brother? These are the two most mild-mannered cats of the litter. Pancake and Honey. The two lightest in color. Are you licking your brother now? Are you going to let him come up there with you? Or are you just going to smack him in the face? Hmm? 
<laughs> you sure are a beautiful girl. Aren't you? You are. So pretty. You hear that motorcycle? That's the neighbors. Why do you have to be so precious, huh? Why do you have to melt my heart? <laughs> you goofy thing. What do we have down here? Pound cake and that little guy who doesn't have a name. Mama is Dottie. Calico girl who doesn't have a name. Those feet back there probably belong to pa to Waffle. Mama, you look like you're drained. Did they drain the life out of you? Yeah? You sure are a good mom to them. Hi, little girl. You show that boy his boss. comes another one. It's awful. I think this is the most beautiful litter. We've got three orange boys, and I always love orange cats. And then little cream girl here. I've never had a cream colored cat, but she seems to have a really good personality. And then our beautiful calico. She has a cute personality. And of course, mama calico has a cute personality. The mama cat I've noticed has these enormous ears. They're way too big for her head. And she's got these big old long paws, which are really too big for her body, too long. She doesn't look like a domestic cat. She looks like a little creature. I think a lot of it is just that she's so underweight. But, oh no, your baby fell off the edge. And this beautiful girl. This beautiful girl. My honey, what are you doing? What are you doing, my honey? Aww, sweethearts. Okay guys, I'm gonna sign off. Subscribe to my channel and like this video if you want to help me grow on this platform. Yeah, because I think this is going to be the summer of kittens. Yes, it is. And so once these little ones find their homes, I'm gonna go on to another litter. We'll see what we can do. We love to help, huh? And we do love kittens. Say bye. Bye.